Hello and welcome back to my channel and to today's video where before I start I'll just apologise if maybe this video in terms of editing is a little bit jumpy but I do have a little bit of a cold so Simon's probably going to edit out any sniffs, coughs, nose blows, bodily fluid leakage, all that kind of stuff so if it is a little bit choppy apologise in advance. Uh, today's video, we're kind of going back to old school Emma Hill and I'm having a bit of a try-on session. Now, I kind of didn't do try-ons and hauls and that kind of thing for a long time and I think that's because I always assumed that by doing those kind of videos it would send out the wrong message and encourage you guys to just go out and blindly buy things, which I think you all know by now is not my ethos. Um, but I think I maybe need to give you grown women a little bit more credit than that and trust that you know what you're doing with your own money and just because I've bought something doesn't mean you're going to go out and buy something. That said, the items on the rail bar the last two, which you'll understand why, are actually not items which are within my wardrobe. These are just items that we're doing as a fun little try on. Uniqlo is a favorite brand of mine. It's definitely one that I will go to on the high street, especially in terms of very kind of minimalistic things. I just think that they're really good at doing minimalistic items. So what I've done is I've gone and picked out a few things which drew me to them, which I just naturally liked. So yeah, we're just gonna go through, we're gonna try them on, we're gonna talk about them, and that's it. Right, let's get started with item number one, which is an accessory. Now, when I went into my nearest Uniqlo store, which is in Blue Water, they've just opened a really nice big store, uh, which is very nice and all fresh, and uh, I saw this on a couple of the mannequins, and when I was in there, I was actually wearing my row slouchy banana bag. And I thought, do you know what? That's quite a good dupe. Now, this is, it's PU, of course, because it's £24.90. If you got real leather for that, I'd be very surprised. Uh, and I think it is quite a good dupe for the row slouchy banana bag. This is essentially their viral, best-selling little... Uh, half moon bag I call it. I don't know what the official name of that bag is but it's a little bit smaller than this made of nylon and I think it came in about eight different colours. It went viral on TikTok and various other social media platforms and uh, now this season they've brought it out in corduroy, very 70s, and this larger version. Now this is actually from one of the brand collaborations that Uniqlo have. This is with the designer Claire Waite Keller, who is, some of you may know, from Chloe and Givenchy. And yeah, I think this is a really good little bag. I can't take any of the tags off, obviously, because I'm not keeping it. So you'll have to uh, bear with me. It's got a zippy closure on the front. I'd say it's not quite as deep as my The Row Slouchy Banana Bag, but, as a crossbody, I mean, it's not, it's not bad, that is it. It's, it's very similar and at a mere fraction of the price, an absolute fraction. Right, next item on the list is another item from the Claire Wake Keller collaboration. And this time it is a lamb's wool half zip jumper. And I picked this out in grey, but I do believe if my memory is working and serves me correctly, that it comes in four colours. Grey, orange, camel and navy. So aside from the orange, you've got three really cool colours there, grey, camel and navy. So really good colourways. Not at all surprising from Claire Waite Keller, who obviously has worked for Chloe and Givenchy and very sort of classic brands, especially Chloe. So I didn't think she was going to go crazy with the colours. Um, but this is 100% wool, which is great value because, and I have written this down, but I can't actually remember, £39.90. So for a jumper that's 100% wool, that is really good value. Now I'm just gonna do a little quick change and try it on. Right, there we go, it's on. I've also had to put my hair up in a clip because I am sodden, I'm dripping. I've got a bit of a fever along with this cold, so I am really moist at the moment. Um, right, so one thing I wanna kind of note is size. As you guys know by now, I always tend to size up in items. I have done that with this. 
when I went into store, I just kind of held them up. I didn't want to try anything on until this try on video. So I haven't tried anything on. So I picked this up in a couple of different sizes and I just kept going up and up and up. I saw the large and I thought, Do you know what? Yeah. I feel like that would be slouchy. And actually, I'm just gonna look in this side camera, but I feel like that was probably the right size to go for in this. So I am a UK size 10, slightly on the smaller end now, because I'm losing a bit of weight. Um, but I am a UK size 10 and I am five foot nine, just for reference. This information is always down below in the description box of the video, along with all the links to bits and bobs that you see as well. So just for your reference, but I would say size large for me is like how I would like that kind of slouchy, slouchy kind of fit. Now it does have, obviously it's half zip, it does zip all the way. I don't know if I would necessarily zip it all the oh, that's that's warm, isn't it? <laughs> You can roll it down at the top. I don't know if I'd necessarily wear it like that. I think I would probably wear it like that with potentially a t-shirt, depending on the weather and, and how warm I am. T-shirt underneath, or you could even do it with like a, a roll neck, a polo neck underneath as well to get that kind of sort of apres ski layered look. But yeah, I think this is quite nice. And I think for the colorways, again, minus the orange, because I'm not really one for color, but the gray camel and navy, these are quite nice classic jumpers. Right, let's move on before I melt. Uh, so next item, I've been really excited to try this on because I quite like the look of this. And it is a camel coat, although I think they call this color beige. I mean, it's not beige, it's camel. Um, and it is a single breasted style with kind of like a cocoony, slightly oversized fit. I say slightly oversized, I suppose that depends on what size you actually buy. Um, I'm gonna strip off this jumper and try it on. Right, do you know, I like this. I do not need another camel coat. I think I've got three, all slightly different styles, but if I didn't have those, this is really nice. This is actually the kind of style that I like, just a single breasted, nice kind of decent length. I think on me, I'd prefer it maybe a little bit longer. It comes up, you'll see in the cutaways, comes up just below my knee. So I kind of wish this was a little bit longer, although arm length, if you can see, that's pretty decent. And even if I'm gonna go like that, the arms aren't too short, which is great. It's just a nice style, nice and simple. No bells and whistles. And again, this is what I really like about Uniqlo. Um, it's got two sort of horizontal pockets. I've lost all of my words. So I'm gonna be coming out with some treats. Two horizontal pockets. It's not even horizontal, is it? It's more vertical, if anything. Um, it's cold brain, that's what it is. Um, and then it does also have, which you won't be able to see on screen here, but it does have a vent at the back, which is sewn up. I'm not obviously gonna unpick that because these are not items that I'm keeping. Um, but yeah, it's nice. Material wise, this is a wool and poly blend. So it's not 100% wool. It does have some, a couple of different polys in there. And I think sometimes my temptation would be to say that that's a negative, because uh, I always find higher quality items if they're 100% wool or 100% cashmere or whatever, I feel like they're better. But there is an argument to be had about having poly within your wool to make it a blend, essentially. It's a lot more durable, it's easier to wear, less likely to crease. So it is more practical. Now size-wise, I've gone for a small, and I know I'm only wearing a t-shirt underneath, so I'll probably do in the cutaway something with a, a knit underneath, so I can just show you size-wise how it fits. But I'd say a size small for me is probably just about right. I had originally picked up a medium and it looked massive. So I think these are, you know, a little bit more on the slouchier side in terms of fit. Now I'm gonna take this, am I gonna take this off? Yeah, I'm gonna take it off for a minute because I am warm. Um, and then I'm gonna move on to my next item, which is a pair of jeans. And I have never ever bought Uniqlo jeans. I've never even tried them on. So I thought, just as a little experiment, that that is what I would do. So these ones are, low rise baggy jeans. Now I would call them a wide leg because they do have quite a wide cut. Uh, now the only thing that I'm not really sure about with Uniqlo jeans, and again this is because I did my shopping in store and not online, I couldn't see a range of different leg lengths. 
which for me could be problematic. Right, I've got them on. I think I could actually pull these, up. yeah, I could, <laughs> we're gonna show underwear in a minute if I keep going. I could actually pull these off um, if I kept going. What size did I get in these? I've forgotten already. 28, I've got 28. 28 inch waist. That means I've lost quite a bit of weight. Um, right, I've got 28. Sorry, I was just having a little mind moment. I've got a size 28 waist in these. Now they are low rise, so that could be more of a hip measurement. So what I will say initially about size is that they come up a little large on the waist, probably because they are lower slung. So as you can see here, these are, where are my hip bones? Here, right in the waistband, there's my hip bones. So that's kind of where they're sitting. Now I know that these are baggy, low slung, the crotch is hanging quite low, um, which some of you might not like in terms of style. They are quite a, they feel like a very sort of all saints jean. They feel very 90s, um, slouchy. They're 100% cotton, so these have no stretch. I don't really think that's an issue because they are so slouchy and baggy, so I wouldn't have said that their 100% cotton is like a problem. They don't feel tight or anything because they are quite a wide leg. Now, my initial worry about these jeans was that I could only find one leg length. I have since had a look online and there are, so these are the regular leg lengths. There is a shorter leg length and a longer leg length option, but they're both faded out, so like not available. So I don't know if that means that these are available in those sizes and have just sold out, or if they're just not available in the short and the long. Uh, in which case, I have pulled these down potentially a little bit lower than I would wear them, I think. And they have come down, they're not quite touching the floor, but they're almost. So I'd say lengthwise, that's actually all right. And I've got long legs. I've normally got a 34 inch inseam. So these are actually okay in terms of that inseam and leg length. I don't know if this sort of jean would be something that I would wear as part of like a daily outfit. They maybe might be something I'd wear, I don't know, if we went to the cinema or if we're doing something super, super casual where I'm just wearing like a hoodie and a pair of big baggy jeans, maybe. But I, in all honesty, I wouldn't buy these as part of my sort of daily wardrobe because I feel like they're just not necessarily my style. Right, next item is, and let me just get the official name, Souffle Yarn Short Cardigan. That is the official name. Now, I bought this in black, but it does come in several colours, and I also believe this same souffle yarn, which is, oh, it's, it's really soft, actually, um, also comes in, I think, a crew neck jumper and a, I don't think it's a polar neck, it might be a funnel neck. It comes in a, in a higher neck jumper also, and again, in a range of different colours. But I got this cardi in black, because we all know that I love a bit of black. And I don't think I have anything from the Souffle, Souffle yarn collection. So I thought I would give this a go. Um, again, nice for autumn, winter. Another item, I have quite a few cardigans, although granted they all tend to be cashmere that I like to wear for layering. So again, if it's a slightly warmer day, you can layer over a t-shirt, a basic t-shirt like this, or even a vest top, which has got obviously nothing under the arms. So you've got a bit of ventilation. Or, as the weather starts to get a little bit warmer, you could layer it again, as I said, with reference to this grey jumper over perhaps like a polar neck for, again, that sort of layered apres ski kind of look. Yeah, I think this is quite nice. If you're looking for a sort of decently priced cardigan, eh, I think that's all right. Right, next. Okay, next item. I actually bought these in two colours. And it is, let's see what they're officially called, pleated wide leg trousers. Um, now these are actually something which I intended to buy when I just topped up recently or if you saw my what's new in my wardrobe video you would have seen that I added some new of the heat tech pleated trousers to my wardrobe because I wore those consistently last year so I, I added a few more colours and these were actually something that I was gonna buy and just didn't so I thought you know what let's do a try on with them and I've got them in this camel colour, which again I think is called beige, and this off-white, which I believe is referred to online as neutral. Again, all of the exact items will be linked down below in the description box for anyone that is curious. 
Um, now these, I must add, they do come in three different leg lengths, but they're all separate products online. So these are just called pleated wide trousers. You've then got pleated wide trousers in brackets short, pleated wide trousers in brackets long. So again, I'll list all of those down below, but if you're online, you're looking, just note that they're not all on one product description. You have to go on the separate products. Let's try them on. Right, uh, I'm just gonna try on this camel color, like now, and then I'll add in this color in the cutaways because it is the exact same style and length. They're really nice, that sort of classic tailored style, which I, as you all know, very much like. That's very much my cup of tea. And again, I feel like you could make them a little bit more sort of casual if you didn't necessarily have an office job where you need to wear tailored stuff. You could do the whole like t-shirt, blazer, pair of trainers, which is very much my look. Fabric wise, as I said, they feel quite nice and lightweight and a little bit slinky. They are a poly and viscose blend. Um, and actually, I had these screwed up in a shopping bag and they have not creased. I did think I was gonna have to steam them before filming this, but they haven't creased. And that is another bonus of these kind of artificial fibers as much as many of us hate them. Um, the bonus is, and this is why lots of school uniforms and office wear is made out of polyester and all that kind of stuff, is because it doesn't really crease. Um, so it's very, very durable. Now this poly and viscose blend, the ratio of that does actually vary depending on the color of the trousers. So I'll leave you guys to investigate that online should you wish to get a certain color of these trousers. Right, next item is actually a repeat item of something that I already have, and it is their cashmere collection. So this is the crew neck in gray. There are actually a couple of different grays. I'm not entirely sure of the official gray name of this one, but I'll investigate it and I'll pop it down below in the description box. Um, Unique Clo Cashmere is something I've discussed before. In fact, they featured in my High Street Cashmere sort of review video, which I did, and I'll leave a link to that video as well. Should you wish to catch up on that if you missed it, I actually filmed that last autumn winter season and that gave a breakdown of my favorite high street cashmeres um, now size wise i've gone for the same size as i have in the other ones of these that i have and that is a size large as i referenced in that high street cashmere video i size up in these because i prefer a slouchier fit i do not like cashmere that fits tighter like this i just i'm not a fan i like something with space with a bit of movement and i just like that sort of slouchier vibe as well um so yeah given that this is a repeat of something that i've already got i like it it's a thumbs up and actually this is i'm tempting myself now to keep this but this is quite a nice color i don't need another gray cashmere jumper so i'm not going to keep it right uh oh and sorry one last note to add about this given that i do have some of these they do wash quite well so added bonus right next item is oh my second pair of jeans i did buy two pairs of jeans from the uniqlo denim range that i wanted to try and this is my second pair right these are the slim fit straight leg jeans and already <laughs> i can tell they're miles too short i think these are actually supposed to be slightly cropped which for autumn winter no it's just a hard no from me because i don't want breeze whistling up you know my ankles or whatever i tend to wear socks quite high um but still yeah i just i don't know this is a really awkward length i feel like if they were a little bit wider i wouldn't mind them being cropped and they are really nice slim cut i just wish they were two inches longer two yeah two inches longer give me another two inches and again i did investigate online these are only available in one length so maybe if you were like five six five seven these would probably be just perfect on you but sadly on me much too short now these do have 98 percent cotton and two percent elastin in this denim fabric so they have that stretch in them and because they are a tighter denim i sometimes feel like having that element of elastin in there definitely helps for the comfort factor these do feel comfortable the only thing i would say if i just turn these are a 28, which would be my normal size. And they, are they a 28? Let's just double check, yeah, 28. 
um, and these are, yeah, quite big. I mean, there's, there's room for lunch in there, but I feel like if I sit down, they're the sort of jean that you have to pull up. Right, next item, I've got a hat there, which I'll try on in a moment, but I have a, another coat, and this one, oh, actually, let's not take it off the hanger just yet. This one is another brand collaboration with the French brand Comptoir des Cotonneurs, um, or Des Cotonneurs, I don't know, however you're supposed to pronounce that in French. Uh, and I think this came in three different colors, or maybe two, was it two different colors or three? I can't remember. One thing that I will say that I found interesting is that even though this is a brand collaboration, it costs the same price as this camel coat, which is not a brand collaboration. This is just Uniqlo, whereas this is obviously Uniqlo with Comptoir de Cotonneur. So it's a slightly different style. Sorry, all the tags are catching on my neck. Slightly different style to this one. It has got more of a wrap, double-breasted style, and this also has a belt. Now, the thing that I have noticed it comes with those really skinny sort of thread belt loops, which on this side, this one's already snapped off. So that's a little bit unfortunate. I mean, if you're any good with a needle and thread, you can make another one, but um, yeah, no, not ideal, is it? Right, so it does have that belt in there. Size-wise, what size did I even get here? I got a size small, and again, I'd say they're quite generous with the sizing. Um, I don't know if I would wear it belted up. I've, I've done that really intelligent thing of not actually having a mirror in here so I can see what I look like. So I've had to kind of just use this tiny little camera I've got on the side to see how it looks. Oh, it's very soft though, I will say that. It's very, very soft. Again, this is a wool and poly blend. I think the wool content in this one might trump this. Oh, but that is soft as well. They're very soft, their coats. If you're a tactile person like me, I like to, I like to touch things. Often my downfall. Um, I like to touch things and, and just feel them. Um, and so, yeah, they are very, very soft. I'd say this one is slightly softer than this. So that does, oh, it's nice, yeah. But again, it's got those vertical pockets on the side. They're quite nice and deep, actually. Uh, do you know what? I think I actually prefer it undone. I feel like it's got this nice, because it's double-breasted and wraps over, it's got more of like a drapey effect, if you see what I mean. Oh, let's get rid of that. It's got a drapey effect as it sort of falls nicely. And your problem is then I'm left with this half dangling belt. Needs that other little debris on the side there. Um, yeah, do you know what? I have not bought or tried Uniqlo coats before, and I think this little session has taught me that there is definitely value in these Uniqlo coats. I would give them a thumbs up. Right, while I'm here, let's do this uh, cashmere beanie. So I went into, as I said, the Uniqlo store, a new one in Blue Water, and they have this whole wall full of their cashmere accessories. They have gloves, these beanies, and scarves and they're just a whole like rainbow wall. So there's, I couldn't even tell you how many colors. I believe probably the colors match to, oh, I've got it on, haven't I? <laughs> to their cashmere uh, jumper range. Um, so I thought I would get one of the beanies. Oh, I don't, I actually don't want to try it on because I'm so hot and I've just put my hair up. So I'm gonna try this on in the cutaways and I'm just gonna tell you how nice and soft it feels here. Um, I got this one in the navy just because I thought it's a good sort of basic core color. They do have black, cream, uh, gray as well. So really good core colors along with some other slightly more pastel-y ones as well. Um, in terms of price, this is £34.90, which I think is quite good value for a cashmere beanie. Um, I do, without even having tried this on, I do personally prefer a slightly chunkier beanie, which is why I like the ones from Arquette. Uh, they're not cashmere, but I think they're like an alpaca, um, and they are much chunkier. I just feel like it doesn't make my head look 
like a tiny pea as much. Um, so that might be one thing to note. Right, next item, yes, heat tech trousers. I think this is probably the only style that I do not actually have and own in my collection. I thought I'd give them a try. These are the navy pinstripe ones. This colorway online is actually in a separate listing, uh, separate listing, sorry, separate product page. So it's not just a different colorway on the usual um, page or product listing, should I say, as the other sort of plain colours. I got these again in a size large, which is the size that I always go for in these trousers because I pull them down and wear them lower slung, which does give them a baggy trot, a trotch, a baggy crotch, uh, because they are supposed to be worn higher up above the hips on the waist. Um, but I'm okay with that to have a little bit of extra length. I don't mind a bit of sort of masculine bagginess. Right, there we go. Yes, as I, as I predicted and as I suspected, they are identical to all the other ones that I have, just a different colourway and with the patterns, navy blue stripe. If I had to put my name to something, it would be Uniqlo's Heat Tech Trousers. I, I think I bought my first pair, it might have only been just last year. I've obviously had lots of their Heat Tech range over the last maybe five years, but I only bought a pair of their Heat Tech Trousers last year and it was love. It was love at first try on. Now the material is synthetic, it's poly again. I think there might be a bit of viscose in there, but they are warm. They've got this really nice, soft sort of brush feel to the fabric and oh, they just feel nice on. I just honestly, I can't rave enough about their heat tech. Their heat tech range in general, but their heat tech trousers for me have been not life-changing, I don't want to be dramatic about it, but they've definitely made sort of getting dressed for me a lot easier in the winter season because I just immediately reach for any of those heat tech trousers. Bob a jumper on and I'm sort of set really. If you're in a workwear scenario um, where you need some smarter workwear but potentially a little bit warmer workwear for the chillier, chillier months, then I would recommend these. Okay, I've just had some fluids. <laughs> Fluids. We've got two items left and these are items which I actually bought separately to all this um, stuff that I'm trying on. These are items which I haven't actually worn yet but they are items that I bought for my wardrobe. And now that we've reached the end of the rail, these are the, um, these are the practical items that uh, we've found ourselves needing for this uh, countryside style life. So first of which is a fleece. Now I picked this up in the men's section, but I have a feeling, I mean, there's nothing to say what's men's and what's women's is there these days. You can wear what you like, but I feel like the sizing might be probably unisex. Um, and a fleece is a fleece. So whoever you are, you can wear a fleece. It's very kind of Patagonia-esque in style, given this sort of rectangular pocket here on the side. I think the Patagonia version is called a Retro X fleece. I have one of those in black. Um, it just doesn't have that special technology on the lining on the inside, but this does have fleecy lining on the inside. Yep, it goes all the way down the arms as well. And then it's this thick plush fleece on the outside, zips all the way up to the top. So you've got, and it's thick plushy fleece on the inside of there as well. So it's really warm really warm and this is supposed to be a windproof jacket so not actually worn this yet to test it so stay tuned I'll let you know what I think I have a feeling because it's got this different fleecy lining on the inside plush on the uh, on the outside I think that's probably going to prevent the wind from penetrating through the jacket and one thing that I if I had to niggle one thing that I would niggle about because this is something I very much love about a fleece, is that on the sides here, it's got no drawstrings. So I have a few fleeces from Columbia, Patagonia, North, Fe uh, North Face, and some of them, most, because I always look for this, have that toggle or two toggles on the inside so you can sort of blouse it over, which is what I prefer to do rather than wearing it longer like this. I mean, obviously it gives your bum a little bit more warmth, but I do prefer to blouse things over. Fortunately, the way I've sized this, it is a little bit sort of snug around the bottom, so I can blouse it up like so, and still get, obviously not with these trousers, 
there'll be a different outfit in the cutaways but you can still get you know that sort of blouse look if that's the look you like I know this is probably not going to be interesting to many of you because fleeces they're a bit of a niche aren't they but uh, they are very much an essential a daily essential should I say to our life here in the countryside price wise I should mention I think that's 49.90 just short of 50 pounds um, which for a technical kind of fleece I think is quite good value given that with the north face you can pay upwards probably like 120 to 150 Patagonia crazy expensive unless you're buying pre-loved so I actually think that's really good value for money um, now my last item lots of you actually recommended these I don't know why I'm taking them off I don't need to do that yet lots of you recommended these to me when I bought my first pair of heat tech trousers last autumn winter these are because many of you said you have these these are the fleece lined heat tech trousers and this is the first time i've even seen them looked at them had a feel uh, and i picked them up and i thought Do you know what yes i'm definitely gonna have you right i got these in black um but i think they're available in four colors and i've got them in a size small Oop size small which yes I would say size small for me is perfect which is crazy because the tailored trousers I get in a size large and they are big and baggy I, I know but um, these fit perfectly in a size small so UK 10 size small ha ah, now one point these are available in three different leg lengths short normal and long i bought these in store and i didn't see the short or the long anywhere i literally just saw the regular i may return these and get the long because they are a little bit they basically fall just above my ankles which with some of my hiking boots and wellies on would probably be fine but i think maybe if i just wanted that extra bit of length i might return these and get the longer length because i haven't worn these yet obviously I've still got the tags on um, but yeah, oh gosh, I can feel them, they're nice and warm, my body temperature has cooled a little bit now, but I can feel them, they are nice and warm. I've got zippy pockets on the side as well, so if you've got poo bags, there you go. Anyway, yeah, I don't know if you can hear this, I'm just going to sort of move my legs together and see if you can hear it on the... That would be as if I was walking. They're a bit noisy, no? I feel like they're a little bit noisy to be sort of everyday trousers. For me, these are gonna be very much fleece, outdoor, walking trousers, that kind of thing. When we go on a hike, maybe when we go on a little pub walk and then pub lunch afterwards, this might be the sort of thing that I'll probably wear. And of course, our daily dog walks. But these are very much definitely going to be a permanent fixture within my wardrobe. And that brings us to the end of the rail. I'm not sure how many items I actually had there in total, but thank you as always for watching. And let me know your favorite, if you've got a favorite. And again, remember, this is not a video encouraging you to buy. I just thought we'd have a bit of a fun try on. Um, so yeah, I'll see you next time.